Hang on. <clears throat> Let me switch over to my YouTube voice. Welcome to Horizon Chase Turbo. It's a racing game that looks very, like, cartoony and chunky and sweet looking. And it's free on the Epic Store right now for a few days. I don't know when this video will come out on YouTube, but, you know, it's free right now. <laughs> That's where I got it. I don't, I've been looking for a good racing game recently. I've been into racing games kind of off and on over the years, but I find a good arcadey racing game is quite nice to put on just in the background while you're listening to a podcast and you just kind of chill out and race for a while. I don't even know. Okay, it is. it does have multiplayer. It has one player. I'll try out one player just in case there's a tutorial. This is literally the first time I've ever booted this up. Yes, exactly. Smash that like button, gamers, if you're into this video. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. I've, so, I've talked about that before. I can't even make myself do it as a joke, because after about 15 seconds, I begin to hate myself so much that I can't do it anymore. <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Drea, here with another epic gaming video. <laughs> Just doesn't work with my voice, I think. Just something about my voice is a little bit too cynical to pull that off. I think you can feel the falseness in my voice. Although maybe that doesn't matter, because I've seen videos like that, and uh, they are dead behind the eyes when they're doing it. I understand why it needs to be done sometimes, but uh, it, it, it they are dead behind the eyes consistently. Anyway, campaigns. Coming soon. I was under the impression that this was a game from a couple of years ago, but apparently there are things coming soon. Maybe there's like a big DLC or something queued up for it. I've noticed that that's what, kind of what happens in these epic games. They'll give, like, I got, they gave away Control for free. Because I, I was actually thinking of buying Control. And then I, I opened up Epic and they were like, here, have Control for free. So I imagine what's going to happen is that there's like a big DLC thing uh, coming out for Control. And so they'll get people in by giving the free game. Because, you know, they figure most people who have it, or most people who are going to buy it have already bought it. So we'll give it away free. And then that'll get people into it for the DLC. That seems to be what happens. So maybe that'll happen with this game. Anyway, California. Never been. No interest in going to California, really. Although, you know, I, I talked before on, on the stream about loving national parks and, you know, how America has so many national parks and, like, cool state parks and forests and stuff like that. So maybe that's a cool place. But in general, everything I have seen of, of California looks like hell. It's like, you know, all the cities seem to be made of grey concrete. There's no vegetation. It is you know, full of, like, deserty areas and heat. North California is pretty nice? Probably. I mean, it's huge, isn't it, California? I know that California is the sixth... Like, if you just take California, if you took it out of the... out of America and, like, deposited it on an island on its own, it's something like the sixth biggest economy in the world. Like, it is huge. It's a huge and rich place. But, uh, yeah, never been. Anyway, San Francisco. Select. Right, it's crashed. <laughs> no, has it? Come on. Um, San Francisco. There we go. Can I use the... It's no longer picking up my controller. Fantastic. Let me let me try reconnecting it. God, I love games. <laughs> Lo love games. Games are cool. There we go. Uh, select three laps. I don't know how to play this, but I imagine it's similar to, you know, every other racing game that's ever been made. Well, you can drive a, a, a shipping container around, apparently. And old, an old-timey Mini Cooper. Like it's the Italian job. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cars, I get it. Can I go back to the start now? Thank you. I will take uh, this boy. Yeah, this guy just seems like strictly better. Wait, there's fuel? Oh, that could be bad. <laughs> Ready. Redwood Forest and stuff? I don't know. Like, whenever I've seen, like... Because, you know, you occasionally see movies set in, like... The Californian forests. And I don't think redwoods actually look that nice. The, the redwood forests always look a little bit bare. It's, oh my god. The controller's going bad. I may need to like stop using the controller. Oh no. Um, guinea pigs, what have you done? <laughs> One second. Okay, it's it's coming along fine. No, it's, it's just plugging in and out. Oh no. One second. Let me try it in a different port. The, uh... The guinea pigs chewed the wire on this controller for a bit, and I was worried that this might happen. It was fine for, uh, little nightmares. Okay, you, you gonna be okay? I love how when you pause it does that. Okay, we seem to be okay now. Uh, I don't know what break is. That's a problem. So far, I kinda love the visuals. 
The visuals are very cartoony and lovely. I'm 17. Lovely. <laughs> uh, the, the parallaxing and the pop-in. It looks like um, if the SNES original Mario Kart was made today. Like that kind of vibe. Nice try. And fuel. Cool. I imagine you can just run out of fuel then, right? I'm not braking at all. I don't know if you're meant to brake or if there's a drift button. No. I think B might be brake. Is there a drift button? I'm going to try on the next corner. Oh, there's a boost. Well, that's something. I'm. Uh, that's probably a nitro? I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. It's very fun. Like, the, the car actually feels quite heavy. Like, it's, uh, it's not... It's not actually, um as floaty as it might look for a, this Arcadia game. The car has some weight to it. You can feel the skidding in the controller. It reminds me of the old school Game Boy, game Boy and NES games. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, I've only played the original Mario Kart a couple of times, but it feels like that. I'm seventh, by the way. I've done horribly. I think I started in 20th, but even so, this is not great. Bumping into things and rear-ending them is probably not going to help either. Oh, God, see? <laughs> Come on. Okay, no more. Second! You know what? I'll take it. But yeah, it feels like that's nice game. My, um... I need to, like, redo the pads on this headphones, I think. Because they're... I've realized that every time I take off my headphones after a stream... My ears are genuinely in pain for about half an hour afterwards. Like, they're the, the cups are too sharp or something. Or, like, they're not padded enough. And they don't quite cover my entire ear. So just the tops of my ears end up getting pinned against my glasses. It's because I wear glasses. If I, if I actually got, like, laser eye surgery or more contacts more, it would be fine. But with glasses, these earphones are not amazing. So I should either, like, re-pad them or... Like, adjust them in a specific way. I'm not really sure how to do that, though. Yeah, I've been making kind of, like, gradual improvements to the stream in general. So maybe that'll be the next thing. Like, new audio setup. Just because, why not? I enjoy doing this. <laughs> like, um... You know, the ring light is another, like, 2%... 2%, like, increase in the production value. It'll make the lighting a lot nicer. Oh god, my eye does hurt quite a lot, actually. <laughs> I'm going 200 kilometers per hour, by the way. That's very, very fast. I'm f I'm about to be fourth, I think, but I have no idea where anyone else is. Oh god, that was bad. <laughs> I don't think there's damage in this game. You know what, already, I will say, I, um, I think I can see myself playing this just in my downtime. Like, I doubt this will appear on stream, uh, unless I do multiplayer stuff with chat. Yeah, it, like, I think what this could be, a oh, fourth. I think this, what this could end up being is like, you know, if I if I finish a game unexpectedly or if a game crashes or something like that, I can play a few rounds of this maybe with chat once I get the hang of it. Because that's what I'm kind of doing right now, is just kind of getting to grips with it. Because, <laughs> you know, it's free, so everybody can pick it up. This has multiplayer, it does. Or at least it said it had multiplayer. Um, would you ever do that LASIK stuff? I don't have glasses, but that shit would terrify me. At one point, I did find it frightening, but um, my dad got it years and years and years ago. My dad used to wear glasses, like thick glasses about the same as mine and he um he got laser eye surgery at, at one point years ago and it's gotten to the point now where it's very strange seeing him in photos where he had glasses like it's just default that he doesn't have glasses now but he said it was fine like he said it was like like 15 minutes or something in and out and it was uh it was more expensive when he did it hydrate i will need to go get water so you know enjoy the music for a second i'll be back in a second Oof, God, my hair. I think my hair is going, by the way. Like, I think my hair is going, like, at the temples. There may be a point, not in the too distant future, where you log on to the stream and I have just shaved all this off. Also, it's not in a good place today. It's very frizzy. I mean, look at me. I really need to cut it. Anyway, I'll be back in a second. On the way back from the pharmacy today, I went into the shop and I was like, I will get more squash. But I was craving cranberry and they didn't have any cranberry squash. So I was like... You know what? I'm just getting nothing. I'm fine with water. <laughs> I actually tried to look on Amazon for it as well for a few minutes and it wasn't there. I don't- I think I may have dreamt that cranberry squash exists. <laughs> but I'm sure I've had it. Anyway, whatever. Uh, resume channel points for multiplayer? That could be an option, yeah. Yeah, I might enable that. That might be fun. 
like a low level channel points thing where that I can enable just when I'm doing the racing games. That, that's a good idea. Again, it's like a, a specific channel points thing that I can enact. As long as the laser eye surgery doesn't get sand in your eye. Oh god, it's so annoying. It's so, so annoying. Again, like, I, it's one of the reasons where I'm like, probably a short stream, again, even though I was planning on going longer. I thought Subnautica would be longer, to be fair, but um, the, the, the eye is bothering me. Like, I looked in the mirror, you can't see it on stream, but I looked in the mirror just there, and there's like a red circle of bloodshot around all my eye. It just, there's like a, it, it looks like, you know, a horror movie poster in this eye. It's bad. Ugh. There are 1v1 dual channel points. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, we'll do one more thing here, just to try it out. But yeah, I would, I would definitely get laser eye surgery at some point. I'd have to price it. I was meaning to, like, get a consultation for it, actually, at some point. Oh, that was a terrible start. That's Nitro to make up for it. Um, yeah, I was meaning to book a consultation for it at some point soon, over the next few months. You know, once everyone's vaccinated and once I'm finally vaccinated. Which apparently is late. <laughs> oh, send. Probably not going to help my grip. But, um, yeah, I think that would be a cool thing to do. Because I like wearing contacts. And actually, I said this to the doctor as well, because he was like... When he was uh, inverting my eyelid to, like, swab around there to see if anything was stuck in my eye... He was like, you know, are you squeamish about your eye? You know, because I'm going to need to invert your eyelid. I'm going to need to, like, grab your eyelid and flip it inside out so that, you know, I can see inside of it. And he was like, it's going to be unpleasant. And uh, I was like, no, I, I, you know, once you wear contacts for a while, any sort of squeamishness you have about your eye just disappears. Because, you know, you're just touching your own eyeball every morning. Or, like, whatever you're putting it in occasionally for me. I'm missing these purple booster things, and I don't know what they are. Oh, I'm so far behind. Oh, suddenly, I'm not anymore. Oh, God, I'm really bad at that. But, yeah, um... You know, it, it's a bit like the spider thing when I first moved into this house. When I had to clear out, like, just a truly ridiculous amount of spiders. It suddenly made me less afraid of spiders. It's exposure therapy, I think it's called. <laughs> Where you're like... I've had to do this so much that I'm fine with it now. Okay, third, that's enough to qualify. Se still third? I thought that would be second. Oh, please stop spinning out. I'll be honest, I kind of love this. <laughs> I did, I briefly looked this up before the stream, uh, just to not, not to see what anything was in the game, just to see what reviews it had gotten. Because I was like, if this has gotten 30% on Steam or three out of ten on Google or whatever. I'm not going to play it. Like, that sounds insane. But, uh, it had gotten, like, nine out of ten on Steam. Or, like, 95% positive. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is, like, a nice, fun little thing. Anyway, second again. I don't know what the tokens do. Maybe you buy things. Sea of Thieves is an idea. Pirate themed and you could wear an eye patch. I was genuinely, genuinely considering wearing an eye patch. Because it, it hurts less when it's closed for a while, right? I was genuinely thinking of, like, getting a bandage. I might do this when I go to sleep, honestly. Getting a bandage, like, rolling it up, putting it over my eye, and then getting another bandage and stretching it across, like, over my eye like an eye patch. So it'd be compressed. That might be how I sleep. Because it's... I have gotten so little sleep, and the sleep I've gotten is so bad. Because any time my eye moves in my sleep, it'll wake me up slightly. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'll do, like, one more round here, and then, uh, you know, we might come back to this. Again, we might do, um, multiplayer things on stream for this. Bliss. That's... A f I don't know. I don't know if that's a nice-looking car or not, to be honest. Let's go to Sequoia National Park, and then we'll we'll do this course, and then we'll we'll call it there. It was a good stream today, despite everything. Uh, where's Bliss? Bliss is... slower. Has worse handling has worse fuel and slightly better nitro and the same nitro it is literally just objectively worse than this you got to react to our videos okay i'll do that before the end of the stream i'll, I'll watch some videos why not great uh yeah I, I mean i guess we'll just do wait why is this a different color now can i change the colors on these no i can't oh i can okay well in that case black obviously why would you not wear black Select, and we'll go. Yeah, we'll do this uh, one last kind of selection of courses. 
morning walk. This does look lovely. If this is what the national parks look like, obviously without the low poly graphics, then that would be nice to walk around in. I know, I have been craving walking around a forest. As soon as, like, everything's open again and you can go over county lines, I'm gonna take a bike and just go around the, the Greenway, which is a... I think they, they've expanded it again recently. The, the Greenway is this, um, cycle circuit that goes up the east coast of Ireland. It starts in a place called Dungarvan in Waterford, right? And, um... What you do is you just, you st it's it's this like forested path that cuts through the countryside and is like kept by the councils that, that it goes through. But it's this like long, long, like miles long, miles, 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 miles long um, cycle path that you just kind of stop whenever you want to on. It's nice. I, we, we went along it a little bit on a walk at one point and it was a nice place to be. So I'm going to take a bike and just kind of get through it. Because that sounds good, basically, and I want some more nature. This is a dumb question, but are there many forests in Ireland? It's it's one of my pet peeves, and I've definitely bought it up before, but I, I always like talking about it. There is virtually no forest in Ireland. Like, almost none. We have the lowest forest cover in Europe um, by a long, long way. Like, the average forest cover in Europe like is something like 30 to 40%. We have, like, one. <laughs> one, one to two percent. Of our original forest. Like, once you add in, like, forestry farms, you know, tree farms, with, like, uh, coniferous trees that aren't native for lumber, it goes up to, like, 6 or 7 or 8%. But we have... The uh, the EU is constantly on at us, at, at our government, to be like, please, for the love of God, plant more forests. You have destroyed your ecosystem. Yeah, that's what I thought, that Ireland was almost too forested. Yeah, it's, it's virtually nothing. It's all just fields. Fields and sort of hedgerows and countryside and stuff like that. It's not a great thing. You've talked about this recently. I definitely have, yeah. It sucks, though. I mean, it's it's a genuine travesty. Because apparently our forests were huge. Like, Ireland's natural forest cover used to be like 98%. It's basically all we had was forests and meadows. And now it's so little. The couple of scraps we have are lovely. <laughs> oh, that's very cold. Like, you know, there's a place called, um, oh, I can't even remember what it's called. Colloquially, everybody calls it Killer Woods. And it's relatively near where I live. Sort of near where I live. It's within driving distance. Um, yeah, there's a place called Killer Woods that I go to very occasionally. Like, once or twice a year. And it's just this, like, scrap of forest with a little trail through it, which is really nice to just walk around in. But that's one of the few. I can't really think of any others that are around. Like, I think we have more, like, wildlife parks and stuff than we do actual forests. UK government are replanting a lot of forests, which is one of the very few things they're doing good at. Yeah, like, UK has a lot more than us anyway. Okay, I think we sort of got an okay start there for once. It's Mario Kart rules. This is very Mario Kart, by the way. Like, if you like the mechanics of Mario Kart, but are into, like, just a generic... And I mean generic in a good way, honestly, because it's a very casual game. Just like a generic Mario Kart style arcade action game to kill some time. This is the game for you. This is extremely good at that, honestly. And it has some amazing music. The, the music in this game is truly fantastic. It does feel like playing an arcade in the early 90s. Not that I was alive in the early 90s or really went to arcades even when I was old enough to. But, you know, it, it has that vibe to it. Like an outrun vibe. Like, just the way the, the parallaxing is, like, the way that everything pops in and then grows as you get near it. It just, it feels like a game from the 90s. It's so good. I know, I'm kind of in love with this already. <laughs> I haven't played much of it, but I'm kind of into this. I could see myself getting motion sick about this, to be honest. It's almost low-key power metal. I spent yesterday listening to Iron Maiden a lot, <laughs> so, you know, vaguely power metal. Yeah, I listened to like three power. I, I listened to like three Iron Maiden albums yesterday. I listened to uh, what did I listen to? I listened to Power Slave, and the newest one, Book of Souls, and then the second newest one, The Final Frontier. 
I really like Iron Maiden. Iron Ma They're one of the few metal bands I actually like and listen to on a regular basis. Because I almost never listen to metal. My brother is a metal guitarist. He loves metal. Um, he, he has that, like, you know, he has two, I think, eight stringed guitars for just doom metal and stuff like that. And he actually, actually, something I, d I did mean to mention is I've ordered something on Etsy for the first time in my life. Because I'd never had an account or even visited Etsy ever. But I've ordered, like, um, if you'll be here in the next few days, I might do another unboxing thing, like the light. But um, I ordered a ring. Because I occasionally, very sometimes, wear rings. But I ordered a wooden ring with a little inscription on the inside, because it looked cool. Because my my brother uh, was showing me stuff. Last time I went to his house, he was, like, showing me stuff that he had bought on Etsy. And it was, like, silver, like, sterling silver and stainless steel like electric guitar earrings that he had bought and they looked really cool and like battle axe earrings like very very sort of like glam metal stuff he's very much into that aesthetic but they looked very cool and they looked very interesting so i was like maybe i should get an etsy account and like buy some stuff on etsy and so i did and actually the the day i bought stuff on, e on etsy was like the day they were doing like a big sale so i got stuff for like half price it was lovely it was a nice time Bruce Dickinson seems like such a nice guy as well. He is. He seems so lovely. Because so many, like, metal legends are dicks. Like, or, like, r musical legends in general are, tend to be dicks, honestly. Like, I mean, look at The Who. Like, all of them are dicks, <laughs> you know? Um, Roger Daltrey's, like, a weird alt-right Brexiter. And Pete Townsend was, like, caught with child porn. You know, just really bad people in general. And yeah, so it's always like a coin flip, but Bruce Dickinson seems lovely. I, I always like seeing interviews with Bruce Dickinson. He got cancer a few years ago. Like his last, the last Iron Maiden album, at least so far, was in 2015 and he recorded it while uh, having throat cancer. And he sounds amazing on it. Like, considering how he sings in that very sort of high-pitched operatic metal style, the fact that he sounds identical to how he does in the 80s and 70s is insane. Like, it's so cool. <laughs> like, the fact that he managed to do that. Anyway. Um, finish third in upgrade races to upgrade all your cars. Uh, sure. I'll upgrade... I'll do this one last one and then we'll go, okay? I know I said that last time, but I'm just enjoying this. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to Iron Maiden after this, I think. I might go to bed and listen to Iron Maiden, because, again, I want my eyes closed after this. <laughs> Did it say Death Valley? Death Valley is in Nevada, I think, right? That's a thing. I don't know any- I, I, I only know Death Valley through songs. I think there's like a Blue Oyster Cult song called Death Valley. And like, you know, it's- I think Death Valley is in like some Looney Tunes cartoons. Uh, where like vultures are trying to, you know, um, eat Bugs Bunny or something like that. I don't- I, I- I think it actually exists. <laughs> Probably. Oh god, please stop crashing. I'm really bad at this, but I'm enjoying it anyway. It's fun to just zone out and play a racing game sometimes. And it, you recover fast enough from this that, you know, for, that it, it doesn't really matter if you crash, really. I don't think you can get first if you crash, but you can still get, like, third if you crash a lot. Also, I'm constantly glancing over to the side of my screen to read chat, so that's probably not helping. Okay, I'm out of Nitro. Oh, God. Ed Force One documentary about Iron Maiden is worth a watch. Had no idea Dick Dickinson was a pilot. Oh, yeah, he is a pilot. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's like an accredited, like, pilot. Which is kind of cool. It's a bit like um, Harrison Ford. Like, I learned a few years ago that he's a pilot who flies himself to all of his movie sets because um, it was in the news that he had like crashed like three or four times onto like golf courses and had like yeeted himself out of the cockpit and like rolled away on the grass and stuff like that before the plane hit the ground which was kind of cool when they're on tour he actually flies the plane exactly that's really cool I don't know I, I think when I was a kid I was like I should learn to fly but it seems like very difficult stuff. Third! Oh, cool. That was quick. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. The old Acme ones. <laughs> I love Looney Tunes. I have a collection of Looney Tunes, uh, like DVDs somewhere. I love Looney I, I I will occasionally, very occasionally, I haven't done it in a while, but I used to, especially when I was a kid, 
just throw on random selections of Looney Tunes cartoons and just leave them on in the background while I was studying or writing or doing anything. They, they really informed my sense of humor, Looney Tunes. Um, suspension, air intake or exhaust? Suspension, I think. Speed and steering, because I like steering. I'm always Yoshi in Mario Kart. I like high acceleration and high steering. Okay, I will call this game here then. We'll probably come back to it though, because uh, we're only 35% complete California. It's great.